Halloween 3, Halloween 3D. Both of those names were the working title of a film that was slated to follow Rob Zombie's 2009 sequel. But unfortunately for the Rob Zombie fans, that never happened. I'm going to give you my opinion on the downfall of Halloween 3. Let's start with why it was made in the first place. On August 31st, 2009, it was discovered that Final Destination 4, also known as The Final Destination, had defeated Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 at the box office. Malik Akkad, the producer of the Halloween series, who had taken over for his father, the late Mustafa Akkad, had to find a way to rectify the situation. It was decided that he would make a sequel following Rob Zombie's movie. The film would be titled Halloween 3D and it would star Scout Taylor Compton. She would come back to play Laurie Strode for a third time. It was not known at the time who was supposed to play Michael Myers, but it was assumed that the shape would be played by Tyler Maine. Production was supposed to start in November of 2009, three months after the release of Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. But that did not happen. As I was saying before, it was supposed to start in the fall of 2009, and Halloween 3D would be released the following summer. But that did not happen because the Weinstein Company had run out of money. This was announced Tuesday, September 29th, 2009. Scout Taylor Compton was also seen in a video saying that they had called her and asked her to do Halloween 3, but that she would only do it if the script was good. That's gonna work at all. Um, but they kind of, they, they, they called me up and they said, so we're gonna do H3 in two months. We don't really know our director. We don't really have a script. Do you wanna do it? And I said, no. Um, because I felt like they were rushing it and I felt like they were going to just make it suck. So I said no, and then I hear later down the line, two weeks later, that they're taking their time to write the script and get everything together. I'm not going to say that I want to do H3, because honestly I think it needs to stop, but if it's a great script, I definitely want to do it because I definitely want to continue my character. And I don't want to just give up and make them recast me. But I'm definitely not going to do a movie that sucks. If I read the script and I don't like the script, I'm not going to do it. There was also a rumor going around that she would be the killer. But she replied by saying that she wouldn't do the movie if she had to be the killer. Because Michael Myers was always the killer. And she wanted it to remain that way. Because of all the unfortunate events surrounding Halloween 3D, it was then pushed to 2011, and it was supposed to be written by Patrick Lussier. But instead, he opted to do the 2011 film Drive Angry. So Halloween 3D was halted once again. You can't really take this video at face value, not because of anything that I say, but because of the information that is given to us. Halloween, like most horror franchises, have always been very secretive. Malik Akkad, the producer of the Halloween franchise, is very tight-lipped when it comes to information. On June 21st, 2011, it was announced that a new Halloween film at the time entitled Halloween 3D would be released on October 26, 2012. At the time of the announcement, there was no director or writer attached to the project. Originally, 
Patrick Lussier and Todd Farmer were penned as writers, but dropped out due to their occupancy on the Hellraiser reboot. There was no confirmation if a new script had been written or any cast members from previous films in the series would be involved. The film was dropped from the release schedule on March 7, 2012. On April 30th, 2014, the Weinstein Company announced that they are still going to do the film. In February 2015, it was announced that Patrick Melton and Marcus Dunstan will be writing the film, along with Malik Akkad and Matt Stein producing. The film remains as ambiguous today as it was nearly six years ago. But I guess Scout Taylor Compton shouldn't be too disappointed. After all, she did get to do two movies and hang in cinematic limbo for the third movie. And that's more fame in five years than most people would get in a lifetime. I want to say this last thing before I go. For all the Halloween fans that was hoping that they would get a Halloween 3D, I really believe that Malik Akkad and his crew tried to make the film. However, not to state the obvious, but I would like to say that due to a set of unfortunate circumstances, it just wasn't to be. And now we are stuck with what they call a recalibration. I guess only time will tell what that is exactly. And you know what they say, anything worth having is worth waiting for. I'm the Michael Myers fanatic and I approve this message. This has been Halloween 3D.